Welcome, Level 4 Classification Employee. Congratulations on your promotion in the ACCU. You've doubtless been wondering about some of the odd things you've seen on the job, as well as the weird procedures you have followed to date, like trailing pubescent and prepubescent children, noting down their behaviors. Today, we will tell you the truth. ACCU stands for Abnormal Children Containment Unit. Our front as a child personal development and therapy center acts as cover, as you have probably worked out already. Enclosed with this letter, you will find an NDA. Read it and sign it, then put it into your mailbox. We'll receive it once there. From now, it is important to keep all the information you will learn a secret. Let us explain the nature of your work henceforth. You are part of a program that works in secrecy with world governments, detaining and conducting research upon children who are abnormal. What counts as abnormal is simple. Anything that is not possible or feels like it must be fiction. For instance, if a child is able to speak to ghosts, they are probably an abnormal. Expanding further, if a child is able to light anything on fire just by looking at it, they are definitely an abnormal. We understand your hesitation in believing this, but we also realize that you probably already suspected something like it with certain odd children you may have encountered. The duties of your current position are as follows. You are, at all times, to use the alternate identity issued to you with the children you visit or encounter and must never, under any circumstance, use your real name in their presence. If you choose to use your assigned name also with colleagues, that is acceptable. You are always to carry the new ID badge issued to you with this document, in addition to your existing ACCU employee badge. This is to protect you from any police or government authority, and from any overly protective parents. Do use the correct badges for the appropriate situation. The working day after you read this, proceed to the help desk on the fifth floor and ask to be taken to the special kits, showing your new ID badge to the person at the desk. They will lead you to your new cubicle and office space, and you will be issued with your personal call device which you must keep with you at all times. If you see children approach you when in your new cubicle or workspace, look at the number on their wristband. If it is four or five, you may elect to converse with them as you wish. If it is two or three, you may engage with them with caution never revealing any personal information about yourself. If it is zero or one, do not acknowledge their presence. Instead, immediately contact the security office, give your assigned name and cubicle number, and inform them that a code 33 is underway. Security can always be contacted from your desk phone or your call device. If at any point you hear a code 55 is underway, wear the glasses and the mask provided in your desk. Remain in place and continue your work, if at all possible. There are many other codes, but the two procedures mentioned are to be followed without exception by all employees. You will be assigned partners for the duration of your employment. You will be partnered with and placed under a senior for the first month, and later, depending upon your performance, 
promotions, and partner changes will occur. Always wear the company-sanctioned suits when visiting a site. Any dress violations may be fatal for you as well as your partner. This will vary depending upon your level. The company is not responsible for any accidents that may occur during your visits, but the company will try its best to guarantee the highest degree of safety. Please run from situations you think are far beyond your scope. We understand and do not expect you to be heroic. The children in the new facility are abnormal, but still children. We do not condone or tolerate any sort of unprofessional and abusive behavior towards them. If abuse is discovered, the company shall take the appropriate actions. The following is in regard to the threat assessment rank system that all employees must know. These correspond to the numbers on the children's wristbands. Zero, highly dangerous and insane. These children have abnormalities and psychological profiles that make them extremely dangerous to themselves and those around them. Proceed with caution and do not, under any circumstance, respond to communication from them. Should you see them outside in the workspace or anywhere besides their rooms, alert security that a code 33 is underway. 1. Dangerous and deranged. These children either have abnormalities that are manageable or profiles that make them less of a threat than level zeros. However, be wary of them and treat them like level zeros unless given permission otherwise. Some are allowed outside, but not in the workspace or any place in the building besides the play zone. If observed elsewhere, alert security that a code 34 is underway. 2. Potentially dangerous and slightly unstable. These children have uncontrolled abnormalities, but are undergoing training to control them. Their profiles categorize them as unstable, but this is being treated. Let this add to your caution. Do talk to them, but keep your guard up. They are permitted to enter the workspace, but only under supervision of someone level 2 or above. If observed anywhere unsupervised, alert security that a code 35 is underway. 3. Potentially dangerous and potentially unstable. These children have abnormalities that can make them a threat to society, but they have a psychological profile that makes them usually manageable. However, there remains a chance they may become uncooperative or berserk. They are permitted to roam the hallways and talk to employees, provided they have been deemed currently stable. They must be escorted in any place that does not have a security officer within shouting distance. If they do berserk, run from the place, inform the security of a code 31 underway, and instruct all encountered employees to evacuate the area. 4. Potentially harmless and stable. These children have abnormalities that are harmless under most circumstances, but can become deadly in highly specific trigger situations. A berserk response to a trigger is highly uncommon due to their stable mental condition. They are permitted almost everywhere in the facility, but are restricted from the maintenance room or the records department. If discovered there, inform security of a code 40 and escort them to the nearest security office. 5. Harmless and Stable These children have a harmless abnormality and a cooperative, friendly personality. These have never intentionally harmed a person, but 
on the contrary, are extremely helpful. They are permitted to roam anywhere in the facility, provided you judge their location does not place them in danger. If you find one talking to you, engage with them. You may also take a break to talk with the child. If asked to return the child to their room, please do so. You may be curious about the names given to the children in the facility. They each have a code name assigned by a research member. Their real names will never be given to any employee, this information being only available above managerial level. Please refer to them by their code name, regardless of any name they may prefer. They have accepted their code names, and non-use may trigger a berserk response. That is all you need to know for now. The rest of your briefing will occur at your facility. Please do note that each facility may have different specific rules depending upon the abnormals within it. We hope to see you as a successful employee, quickly promoted. Regards, The Management